one thing that we need to understand about flip learning is that it's not a structured plan um, and it differs from topic to topic, from classroom to classroom. And it's more of a collaboration between the student and students and teachers. Um, and it is up to them how they want the classroom to work and what pace they follow so that learning can be individualized for each student and while they keep up to a structured pace in class. The shift would obviously be from individual individuality to the collaboration in that, that you're learning alongside your peers and the teacher. Mm -hmm. As you go home, you're watching a video and this teacher could potentially be doing this with colleagues or doing this at a different time to that time that you're there watching it. The good thing about that, you can revisit it. So if you don't actually understand it, you can go back to it. And this can be done with peers so that you can both compare your notes and understand what you're actually learning. Currently, there's a lot more conversation going on um, through teacher and student, whether that's throughout the class. The teachers have found ways to integrate themselves into the student's learning and not only be there as a teacher but be there as a mentor to be able to guide them to, to work through step by step with them and yeah so that generates a lot more conversation and I feel me and myself as a student I feel a lot more relaxed and comfortable in some teachers classes as the atmosphere that they create and the environment the learning environment is a lot positive a lot more positive and it's a lot easier to focus and concentrate it and you're able to have conversations with your teachers conversations with your peers and you're able to develop that knowledge. It really allows the teacher to make sure that every individual student is on the right track because no two students learn in the same way or at the same pace. So being able to learn at your own pace, learn the content at your own pace and then be able to ask teachers questions at your own pace as well really means that the teacher knows where each student is at and the teacher can have conversations with each student instead of just assuming that because they've put the information across to the student, the students understood it. Like you can't assume that just because I've told you something, you understand it straight away. Where before we would be told by a teacher who's standing at the front of the classroom, the content, the topic content. Now what it's focused on is actually collaborating together as a class and working together to draw off the ideas of others and also to work um, to overcome the difficulties which we're facing through higher order thinking skills and analytical skills rather than um, focusing on understanding and remembering. It's more what that and what that really helps and what I've noticed it will help with is you don't want to be thrown into the deep end once you're finished with high school and once you go to university and employment. Um, but when we're using flipped learning, what it's really helping us with is to become individuals and to learn how to learn individually rather than purely focusing on the teacher for the knowledge which we derive. So I think it's about the teachers helping us learn how to learn. So not so much teaching us the content, but teaching us how we can figure out the content because we can then take that um, that learning that we do of, of those skills and take that beyond school and into life and teach ourselves anything. And so each test, I would, like one test, I would study with a textbook and not do very well. And so he'd guide me for the next test that I'd study using videos and examples and lots of practical questions and if I got a little bit better grade then we'd try that technique again so yeah that was that was actually that was very helpful for me to get even if it was going from being a D to a C minus it was yeah that one little change. I wasn't treated like everyone else which I think is a huge mistake a lot of teachers make is that every student is the same and every student needs to be up to this standard but I think that um, considering each student's individual ability and how they like to learn. My tutor group teacher which wasn't actually my maths teacher at the time he said to me I remember that Einstein I think said um, the most insane thing is doing something the same way and expecting a better result 